<laughs> so I like street photography. I like that street photographers can capture these fleeting moments. These moments that probably would never happen again. The thing is, I'm more of a video guy. So today, I want to go out and try street photography. But rather than taking pictures, I'm gonna take video. So I'm gonna call this street videography. So why don't you join me today on my very first video walk? Before we start, if you're new to the channel, we are a channel that focuses on production of video, editing, or videography. So if that interests you or if you're interested in learning along with me, please do hit subscribe. Let's go on this journey together. There aren't many resources for doing street videography, so what I did initially was I first took the definition of street photography and used it to influence the videos I took on my video walk. Britannica defines street photography as a genre of photography that records everyday life in a public space. The very publicness of the setting enables a photographer to take candid pictures of strangers often without their knowledge. Street photographers do not necessarily have a social purpose in mind, but they prefer to isolate and capture moments which might otherwise go unnoticed. My initial interpretation of this was that anything that would look good for street photography would probably look good for videography. So this is the first thing I took. There was this wall painting and I just waited for a subject to enter the frame to produce a nice looking image. But something's missing, so I moved on. Now, this is another scene that I tried to take as if it were a photo. I soon realized that street videography is a lot scarier than photography, especially if you have to go closer to your subjects. So I tried taking a similar shot from a different vantage point with a different subject. It definitely felt like stalking more than street videography. So I was having trouble defining what street videography is for me, so what I did was I went back on the sidewalk and tried to look for nice looking frames to shoot. I eventually ended up in this intersection and at that time I thought that if a subject were to walk into frame, I would be able to get a nice looking sequence. And eventually a lady I saw earlier ended up walking into frame. And I really like the imagery I was able to capture here with the high contrasts between the whites and the blacks. But it still felt like I wasn't doing proper videography work. An idea came to me when I tried to capture this statue. But in the background, there was this guy doing some grass work. I tried to take him from several different angles. And I felt like I was able to tell that moment's story with the scenes that I was able to capture. So focusing on storytelling really helped me find direction with what I wanted to do with street videography. Now what I mean by stories is just simple short statements of what it is currently happening in these scenes. But rather than explaining these stories, I'd rather let the videos talk for themselves. Moving forward, I eventually chanced upon this group of delivery people. I just wanted to capture the current scene, the current environment that they were currently in. What are they doing? Why are they there? What are they waiting for? These are the kinds of questions I wanted to elicit to viewers when they watch the scenes that I'm capturing. Now this is a frame that I feel like was able to tell a nice story without actually having words being spoken. I was eventually noticed by the delivery people and at first I was a little terrified. But they were really good sports and even <laughs> posed for my video. Now these moments, these fleeting moments, these moments that will never happen again are the kinds of moments that I wanted to capture on my video walk. Though I will never be able to experience this moment again, I am very happy that I was able to capture this experience on video. Moving forward, I noticed a very large graffiti looking wall painting on this building. 
And I enjoy taking photos of graffiti when people are walking past, so I waited for people to move so that I could take videos. It was a nice idea, I think, but I wasn't able to really capture the framing I wanted. I felt like I was being too close to the wall. And I was up against the railing to the sidewalk. I decided to shoot from across the street. Now for these scenes, I didn't really have any subjects, but I did like how I framed this. I really like the layering that I was able to produce with the railing, with the cars, with the sidewalk, up to the wall in the background. And I also noticed this guy in a car just chilling out there. I wanted to capture him closer, so I decided to walk back across the street. I could have went back the same way I went, but I decided to go the longer way around, perhaps to discover other things to shoot. That decision turned out well in my favor since I was able to capture this street scene where cars were passing by. And I was also able to capture a short scene with this guy on a scooter, which I thought looked pretty cool and had this retro vibe. On my way back to my destination, I was able to capture short scenes of some joggers. And I'm very happy that they stopped to stretch because I was able to capture a more stable shot. And I found this scene just nice. I eventually ended up to that person I wanted to take, but more than just the person, I feel like this entire scene really tells a story. And I even got a nice little cameo from the joggers I saw earlier. It was getting late and I still had errands to do, so I decided to end my video walk there. So walking back home, I was just thinking to myself what were the things I was able to accomplish, what are the new things I learned, and I feel like storytelling is a big part of street videography, but more than that, being able to express the experiences that you experienced during that moment is where the magic of street videography is. Since these experiences are fleeting moments, moments that will never happen again, the challenge and the fun really is to be able to capture these moments, these experiences as accurately as possible through the lens of your camera. So what do you think of street videography? Is it something that you're interested in? Is it something that you want to see more of? If you do like what you're seeing, please do hit subscribe. Please follow along the channel. We'll be doing a lot more of these things. But that's it for that video. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.